everybody, it's Ultimate Khalid, and welcome to Super Mario Galaxy Talk! In the last episode, we did the... We did two new galaxies in the last episode, a.k.a. As I may show them. Frosty Flake Galaxy, and the bonus galaxy of World 3, a.k.a. Beat Block Galaxy! Beat the beat the beat the beat the beat the block! And yes, of course, I gotta do it like that. I, I gotta, like, eat the block. So, in this episode, we are actually gonna backtrack back to World 2 for no comments. But, because that last episode, well, pretty much after the last episode, and I can't believe I lost my Yoshi once again, it, like, despawned once we move a planet. What the hell? Um, it's just that last planet, I mean, last episode, at the end of the last episode, we had a challenge that we supposed to do, which I cannot actually find. Yeah, this one. Race, race, racing at the rock like us. So don't check it out, don't check it out. So we actually got a challenge from some hardcore challenging bird that we're actually gonna about to see a little later. Because we're actually backtracking to that galaxy. We're backtracking to our Glide Galaxy for its bonus star to get from that challenge that bird gotta make us accept. So let's do it. Let's start our episode strong and keep on living. Keep on living. And this bonus star is called Jungle's Flazard Waves. Okay, let's do this. And there's the Duke. And there's the Duke himself. The Duke of Evelyn. Okay, no. The yes. black Duke of Evelyn. That doesn't make a one. Let's talk to him anyways. Just try me. Just try me. I'm running out of time. I'm the best there is. Just try me. I never lose it. a race. Jesus, dude is always so confident and contented and so playing and... I, I just like to say this dude, I just... He's like my second favorite minor character other than the chimp. This, like, because the, the words he say, like, he always speaks twice. Shut and don't think I'm some pushover. Let's go! I, I, I can't push you over while flying anyways. So yeah, get bonus star. We actually need a challenge against the bird. I mean, this black bird. By racing against it along with his buddies and stuff. You can actually see the place over there. Now, pretty much the best places in order to actually get there. I almost drowned for a sec. The best places in order to pretty much race against the dude and get to this hell fast. I mean, get to this, like, hell of a faster. It just... It's just going all the way down, like, follow the path of the river and stuff. Going all the way down from left to right and stuff, like I already just did. And, like, pretty much, like, save your height and stuff, because you're going to need to eat, like, a nosedive in order to speed up, like, hardcore fast and stuff. So, like, continuously go down in order to massively fast, but if you go too... But if you go too down, like, all the way down, you might drown because you might hit the water and stuff. It's just that you need to pull, pull your height pretty much down and stuff in order to like boost up your speed. After getting through that all over again while this time racing against that bird. Putting all our speed into it. There you go. That's the goal. And I only got one minute of commentary. Jeez. If only I had commentary faster than the meal. Ugh. I lost. Lost. I'm no leader. You'd be our new leader. New leader. New leader gets a star. Jeez. This dude's... I just freaking love this dude because of what he say. Like, he can be such a jerk, but at the same time, he's such a rival. And, like, pretty much talk like that. That's so funny. But anyways, after doing that quick challenge against the Flazard in order to, like, race against him, we get our star for, like, the first four minutes of this video. Kind of reminds me of another video where we got a star in, like, the first three or four minutes. Jeez, that's dumb fast. Wow, that's faster than I thought. And pretty much while pretty much practicing that that bonus star, I actually thought that for one time I actually failed and stuff, but I did actually fail on this, and I actually did that quite well in fast. Even though I commentated kind of sloppies, but regardless, I'm content. Yay. I see you brought us back a loud bird this time. Oh, loud bird. You hear the str Tranko song of the stars? No? Well, it's tough to hear over the yapping Jabber Jay. How about going over there and try to quiet him down for a bit? Well, there's me. Like, I try to Jibber Jabber as fast as any other LP or and stuff, except for me. He just talks fast and crazy. But, seriously! 
Well, there's also an Nintendo Capri Sun also in my room. It's just that the point is that I have her more or less than this, than like that dude that we just faced like during that bonus star like a couple of minutes ago. Listen up, listen up. That's a good, good. Da, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I teach them how to do this S. Thank you. And geez, let me crank up the volume down on my little game audio and stuff. Because it feels... I'm hearing it massively fast, but at the same time, I might be talking to... Like, massive, not massively a little loud, but at the same time, I'm talking a little loud as well, because I actually cannot hear myself. And after pretty much doing the bonus star of that galaxy already, actually about to advance on to World 3, and I finished it this episode. Yay! We're gonna finish World 3! Done with this bull! Kind of. As we are going to start finishing it with Rolling Masterpiece Galaxy. Which I gotta say, it's a hot name. And when it comes to this galaxy, this galaxy have a gimmick that made its return from the first game, and it is just such... A good galaxy to have its return on. The star is basically the Silver Chump Grudge Match, in which to spoil it, when it comes to the name Silver Chump Grudge Match, and when it comes to that scene over there, spoilers, it's just a minor boss fight. And the gimmick of this galaxy is that there's a star over there. There's this star over there of this galaxy, of this mission in particular, but it's inside a ball. And with Mario, act, and if you actually make contact with the ball, you got this dude. Oh my gosh. Hey, it's me, Billboard. If you want to ride on the star, Starboard, listen up. Okay, first thing is to jump onto the Billboard. Star, star Ball! It's called a Star Ball, so. Okay. I pretty much cut this, since it's just a tutorial. Finally! After a couple of seconds later, me and everything is so fast this episode! Jeez! And thank you for erasing a couple of sins, whereas this should have been gone faster, and thank you for making me do all that extra editing. This is what you get! You're flat down! Some stupid signposts. Now when it comes to rolling with Mario, this is basically the gimmick of the galaxy that made this first game. You can actually roll the star ball. Which is called Star Ball because I got the inside of the ball with Mario and stuff. And when rolling the Star Ball with Mario on top of it, and with him tippling a little in order to like roll it, like you need to like face your remote, like you need to face your remote like up and stuff. And whatever direction you tilt the remote in, that's the direction where Mario and the Star Ball will actually go. If you if you tip down, it'll pretty much go down. If you tip tip up, like tilt up. It'll pretty much go up, and if you tip tilt l right, it'll go right, and if left is left, and you can and you can actually like like spin around and stuff with it and stuff by just spinning a rainbow around. So that's basically the gimmick of this galaxy that was also from the first game, and it was actually a quite of an amazing gimmick. And both in pretty much both games, this is quite hot, and like they really up the usage of the star ball in this galaxy. In like this galaxy, of course, because you just have a whole bunch of unique things of it. All rolling masterpiece galaxy for a massively awesome reason, because it's a rolling masterpiece. Any estate under control when doing this. Uh huh. Now on this planet of the galaxy, you need to find a key, which is right there while I was pretty much talking, and it will pretty much unlock your thing that will launch ball thing that will take you to the next part of, I mean, to the next planet of the galaxy, so let's do that. I think there's a one-up lying around in this, in that planet that we just left, and in this planet of the galaxy, do is that with these little junk things that make their return once again, is that you need to roll very, 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 very still and edgy, and if you actually roll very good to this part, get a one-up, oh boy. Which is good to have, and if you actually go over here, this onto this ever push you up. The two lines of starbits I can give you a re sensor, which I don't give a F of. And on this part, you just need to like press these switches with your star ball. And shite! Jeez. Oh no! Seriously! I was doing so hot! 
It's a good thing I actually got that checkpoint anyways. Okay, let's take still. I mean, this part of the C, once again, is not all that threatening because if you actually rock your skills bet be awesome enough, there's that one up once again. So, it's like you're in first place if you screw up in this part of the galaxy. Okay, so let's do this whole thing all over again. Hopefully not screwing up. Hopefully not screwing up. Hopefully not rolling it up. Jeez. Don't. Or you just fly down. Oh boy! Okay. And after pulling those switches, there's this ruler which will just turn straight and it'll also speed it up and launch ball and it'll take you to the next part of the gap. To the next planet of the galaxy. Now on this planet of the galaxy, there's your comic coin, but you need to be fast in order to get that coin. There's also your checkpoint just in case you kind of screw up. Because, guess again, this is a wood planet of the galaxy with th with these cutters making their return. And if you're not fast enough, these cutters will pretty much cut that part of that planet, and you'll never get your. Wow, I can't even talk. Jeez, I, I'm not fan boxes. It's a good thing I got that point stuff. So. What I was about to say is that they'll pretty much get your... Is that you pretty much lose your chance to only get the Comet Coin if they ever... If they pretty much cut, like, a big hole in order to, like, get the Comet Coin in. A big part of the plan I meant. And uh, when it comes to this happening coin... Be quick with it with those no stuff in order to get them as with the rolling star star ball with Mario and stuff and if you do that you get three one-ups so this is pretty much less threatening than the last part of this galaxy that we went to since if you have you actually get three, three one-ups off of your death making it two that you can actually get so there's no way that you can actually just if you do it right exactly and on this next planet of the galaxy there's our minor ball case silver chump and what you need to do is that you need to actually roll them to one of those pits or roll them out the square. There's also some of these things I can actually use in order to use as a shield in order to hide from his attacks and stuff. Or knocking him down and stuff. There's a ruler that will just take you to this and it'll break the star ball. And releasing the star. And that's how Beast Galaxy rolls. Get it? Well, you pretty much got it if you like. Duh. It's, it's the name, okay? So that's a whole lot of sense. Since it just said rolls and stuff. I learned from a meal, but I'm still a pun master in it. And after all of that, I got the star. Whoopee! There's already been... And two of the stars that are actually gonna... Two stars that we got are actually gonna get... And we're actually gonna go for our last star of, of the galaxy this episode to the end. And it's already been like 13. This is dumb short so far. And there's a comet metal, there's a star bit, there's a coins, blah, 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 blah. And oh my gosh, the first castle of it, the Castle Galaxy of World 1, aka Bowser Jr.'s Friday Friday Tiller, got a print of it. Which we're gonna deal with next episode. Who cares? Now. Ooh, Luma. A rare chest the baby Luma has arrived. To my lost Luma, we don't worry about you. But we know you are safe with your new friend. I hope the attached item is helpful. May the stars shine down on you. Sign this mysterious person with a star in a hole. Well, whoever this mysterious person is, at least he have at least he or she have the same type of letter writing as Peach. For reading this, be free of it, but I want to don't give it. Okay, let's go. Oh, drop. I'm seeing much. Okay, what? Wah! Wah! to end the mighty awesome world 3 as we take a little quick look at everything that we just did yeah. since now it's time for the only the powerful the more than one so I don't know why I said only the stupid the hellish castle galaxy of world 3 as we can now advance so let's end this episode with that now let's end world 3 as we got Bowser Jr.'s fearsome fleet, in which this castle galaxy is quite awesome, but at the same time, it sucks. Sometimes, if you don't get the hang of it. We got Bowser Jr.'s mighty, mighty mega hammer. Oh wait, wait, wait. It's supposed to be.
Bowser's Dirty Mega Hammer! Yeah. And just like the, uh, and just like the last Bowser Jr. Ga Castle Galaxy that we went to, this one is somewhat long. And somewhat extra hard, but we can actually get through this one. It's pretty much of a random. And it pretty much got a random gimmick behind it. But at the same time, this is have the powerful honors of being the first Bowser Jr. Castle Galaxy and the only to have the use of Yoshi! So happy! And I gotta actually do this quick and hardcore, like, because I just had, like, two fail recordings of this Castle Galaxy. Of this one specific star in particular, and it just sucks for me. Like, yesterday and stuff. This is actually being recorded the same day. And right here we got these things called Purple Shock Slimes! They'll pretty much spread out into electrical uh, water, as you can call it, and pretty much shock and damage you. But if they actually shock and damage you with Yoshi, it's an insecurity and stuff. Like he'll instantly go back into his egg after getting damaged. So that can be that can be actually bad. Over here, you pretty much got the this moving platform that's just gonna move in. What things that's just going to attack you by launching bullet bills at you? Bullet Bulls becomes supremely essential in the Castle Galaxy and the next, and ah, uh, why? Uh, Yoshi, I'm gonna leave you! I'm gonna leave you now! Uh, of course. Ugh. Okay, top to this is dead. here actually is that jeez gotta take Clayton jeez. um is that you got, once again got these thing, these things shooting out bullet bills and you can act and what I actually forgot to mention that Yoshi can actually eat the bill bills and stuff and it actually can press the B button or launch it right back but as you can see there it actually worked but I screwed up Good thing I packed myself a couple of lies and stuff. Um, there's actually a hint you can actually see that I kind of have a fair recording of this one specific galaxy and its star mission, as my life count might be different to, like, after I did those other two galaxy stars, so yeah. And why did I just did that? I mean, you can eat the those purple slime those purple shock slimes and stuff, but at the same time, if you eat them while on that shocking state, um, while on their electrical current state, then Yoshi will still get damaged and stuff, so that can be a curse. Can you actually launch while I'm not even moving it? Seriously? You're gonna wait while I put that on, that's- You're a bunch of dicks. You're Tom Brady. Or he said, where's my medication? Or not. We get it wrong from NCS. Uh, I'm gonna kill you. Oh. Um, you can also use those bullet bills in order to destroy those gates that's holding the star bits and stuff. But considering that I'm not all cool with star bits, I'm just gonna use them in order to kill you. Thank you. Ah, I got you before you try to shock Yoshi. You silly little brute. I mean, that's alright if, if you actually destroy this dude right here that's about to shoot a bullet bill, take a bullet bill right at, while, right at back him when he shoot at Yoshi. These things can actually bust out bullet bills, and you pretty much use their bullet bills in order to break that thing, and what do you do? And, oh, I'm not sure, because I was actually trying to get rid of it, but I, but it's, it was an accident because I was supposed to use it. I'm gonna take out this hammer roll. This hammer bro will detect you and definitely move like out there from your straight shot if you pretty much get detected by it. But if you actually shoot it with a bullet bill without getting detected, then you're in the clear because he'll just pretty much get on the other side of this next planet of the galaxy and will totally shoot you with hammers. And if that happens, just be utter hell for you. Okay, let's get on top of this. 
and this plan of this galaxy you need to use one of those bootables in order to destroy the switch. And use it! Well, not destroy the switch, destroy the guard of the switch. Now on this part, you need to be extra careful because basically these ships pulling out off of those cool por portals. And that block contains a pack of star bits, so for that one on the first trip. And my left extension is gone! That will be very important for a later boss fight. And Yoshi! Uh, 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 go away! Yeah, be careful with this hammer, bro. And oh, die! I already seriously collected the comet coin all with comet metal. I was so busy with that hammer, bro, that I totally skipped that. And seriously? You know I'm from this ship! Those boo-boos are still attracting to me. Because once again, well, I kinda said this on my fair recording. They got plumber seeking power! Plumber seeking bullet bills. And ah, I was actually about to use it in order to break one of those Bowser Jr. statues. Let's just get this check before something else stupid happens. Hey you! Lee Loom Bob! Welcome to the Loom Shop! I'm just an old man that was trying to sing and pray for God. I can just make a whole lot of funny voices out of you. Alright, Luma Shop, jeez. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't have enough starts and stuff. And to spoil it, the ba our boss, our second boss fight against Bowser actually consists of using Yoshi and stuff. Who is just still so happy even though he's being brought better about so many things. And this boss fight can actually be either very easy for you if you do it the broken way or just out of Even when the, the normal way. Oh my god. Bowser Jr., you f- Mike! Eat this king, you're my man, Bowser Jr. You're my man, you're my homie. Okay, fine. Don't you know when to quit? I'm gonna enjoy taking you out from the comfy coziness of my cockpit! Uh, I sense attacking two cans joking there. That's very dirty and stupid. Oh, boy. This is just- ugh. A grand star, do you? Well, come on, tough guy. Let's see if you're any match for my Met Hammer! This is just like Mr. Whiny Branches back at Super Mario Sluggers. I mean, from the comfy coat of my cockpit. Mr. Whiny Branches. If you get rid of that R and just say the B word. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, this is Me Mega Hammer. A.K.A. Bowser Jr.'s Mighty Mega Hammer. Bowser Jr.'s Mighty Mega Hammer! Is how to say it. And this dude is actually, and this dude is actually a hardcore Bowser Jr. major boss, actually. What he pretty much got is that he pretty much, like, at the center of his little stomach is that he busts out these bill bills that will pretty much be homing on Mario and shooting at you. What you need to do is that you actually need Yoshi in order to bust out those bill bills right back at his blue man tits. I just paused for a second with my commentary to just See what I just said, oh my gosh. That, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, it times two, this might be stupid. After you pretty much take out one of his little blue man tits, as I continue to call it, he'll pretty much bust out this new attack that's actually his traditional attack, aka busting out two hammers on you. Well, he was actually about to do it, but I actually stopped his animation and attack at the time. He was about to bust out two hammers on you, and if you actually go to either side of the hammer too far, then it's basically an instant kill because you're basically going to get crushed by either one of those mighty hammers. Whereas stomping, whereas electrical, like, whereas electrical currents from those hits will actually, like, come out, and if you actually make contact with those electrical currents from the hammers, then you're pretty much also damaged that way, and if you're right with Yoshi, considering that there are electrical currents, Yoshi's instantly killed. Fortunately, you can actually find, like, rock... You can actually find, like, loose rocks on the battlefield of this that will morph out coins and stuff, and you can use them to heal yourself, just in case you're having so much trouble like I'm su Unfortunately having... Oh, boy. Well, not unfortunately, I'm like down alive, but oh my gosh, this boss fight is so pressuring. Like, every move pretty much counts. Dang it! Uh, balls. Sorry, Yoshi. And that's when I actually finally found the freaking launch star. And I think that's a stupid move regardless. Oh, shite! Ow! I need a self-recovery. Reco recovery! 
Uh, I need a run. I need a run. I need a run. I need to take a hit for a bullet. Oh crap, that bullet bill is still on me. Uh, go away. I forgot about the electrical current. Good thing I'm packing six with me. And by, dem by demonstration of, of this boss fight against Bowser Jr., when it comes to all that, that just shows how much hell this boss fight is. I mean, because everything is like after you and stuff. There's like no break. And after that, oh my gosh. Take the hit, take the hit, take the Oh, oh, no, 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 oh. They destroyed themselves. Okay, where's this? Did I actually need a health extension. And I still need to destroy your man tits. Oh, oh, it did not get destroyed during the animation. Thank you. Oh, and there's a monster. star. Lucky days. Here, take this. Oh, uh, good, 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 good. Oh, that was stupid. I need to take one just in case. I, I did not! Uh, Yoshi did not grab a tongue! Oh! I need to risk Yoshi, I need to risk Yoshi. Yep, I need to risk Yoshi. Oh. Uh, Goodbye! Oh, that was actually a good choice anyways. Oh, yeah! I damaged you! And damaged you the second time! Nope! Oh, balls. Well, at least you're almost done with this hardcore Bowser Jr. boss fight because, yeah, he's only like got Because his behind is only down by one life and I got the bull bill. He's going to unleash his attack. I'm going to attack you at the same time, and BOOYAH! Now after all of his man tits and his back is actually destroyed, Bowser is going to come out on his awesome animation of himself. Now on this final part of the boss fight, in order to make it very easy for yourself, just get rid of the first bullet bullet he shoots, dodge his double smash right there, and with the second bullet bill, hit him with it! So that's how it works. And do the same thing again, and you're actually okay. And this, and this final part of this boss fight is that dumb easy. Oh, that was a close call! No! Just shoot, just shoot, shoot at Bowser Jr. Shoot him in the freaking face with your gun and explode his machine! <laughs> Boom! Wow, man, feel sorry for the little guy of what I just did to him. Feel very sorry for the little guy. And yep, after that entire hardcore awesome fun boss fight, there's a Grand Star, and I can see a pit over there. If this catcher card is gonna wreck me, I'm actually gonna bang it if I don't get my Grand Star after a hardcore boss fight. Okay, I'm down to the Lunch Star, just spin it and make contact with it with the Lunch Star, and. So happy with the Grand Star. The first only Grand Star scene with Yoshi in it that you'll ever see. Oh my gosh, that's just so happy and adorable with Yoshi. Oh my gosh, that is just perfect. Wow, that was awesome. And I finally, finally did that. Finally did that. Castle Gallop do fair recordings for State 2. Finally. The hell is over for now, unfortunately. Yep, that's our Grand Star, that's our Comet Medal, that's our Star Bits, that's our Coins, that I don't give a F up because I'm so broke with them. Great work, pal. That's your third Grand Star. Alright, we're ready to fly through time and space. That Bowser monster is still out there somewhere. So let's ship out to the next world, Captain. Okay, Loomba, and stepping into the helm, and a little struggling, and on his, the helm, 
and we've got some rainbow coloring with Choo Choo Noise, aka the Train Noise. And man, they're really realistic with the Train Noise. We come to... Which gotta be the most plainest galaxy. Like, I mean, you can embrace the... You can embrace how pretty, like, you can actually think of this world of the universe very pretty and stuff but to me it looks very very play like it's i mean it's kind of awesome like this like a spiral milky way and stuff but like it's just so plain and not pretty on the other worlds that we've been in so far and to top it all off they actually give you the hungry numa right off the bat before even our first galaxy of this world which is quite odd we're sure come a long way thanks to your efforts. Let's keep this good the good thing going, if I, am I right? The hunt is yours, Captain. And once again, they do give you the Hungry Luma right off the bat here, and it costs 1,000 star bits. Eh, that's quite odd. Like, square world map if you don't believe me. I mean, like, look at it right now. Compared to what we've been in, this... And this. And even compared to the next world after world 4, actually. That, I mean, half of that world that you're looking at, like, over world 4, looks so... I mean, it looks the same as world 4, but at the same time, it's more colorful, it's more awesomer, it's more awesomer. Whereas world 4 is... Between a 1 and a 10, I, should, I could give it a 3, because of that center part of the... Because of the center of World 4. I mean, look at that. It's just a spiral bulb of light. But anyways, after rocking. And to give it some proof, even look at it while we're pretty much in World 4, but over here. I mean, like, look at it. Like, there's not that much in the way of scenery and stuff. I mean, there is that spinning all right there, which actually looks... Which actually looks cool is that we're pretty much orbiting like next there on that side over there. That looks quite golden and stuff in the terms of I mean it looks quite cool dead near there, but it to me like to me this is basically the plainest, not coolest world ever in this game. It's not all that great. But anyways, we've rocked. We've rocked that challenge that Okay, let me just show this a little more better at once. We rock that challenge that back, give it back at World 2 at Wild Glide Galaxy. We did pretty much the, the last galaxy, but the Castle Galaxy of World 3 that I actually now got a comment in it right now. AK Rolling Masterpiece Galaxy, a what my sensor is pointing at. We did the Castle Galaxy of World 3 and even finished World 3 awesomely. AK Bowser Jr.'s Fearsome Fleet. But even though we now finish World 3 and you to think you can pretty much to think we're actually about to go in World 4 next episode. Next episode we're actually going to go in World 4, but at the end of the episode because other than World 4's new galaxies and stuff yet to be explored, we still got the comet still that got the only masterpiece galaxy and the comet star or comet of the castle galaxy of world one aka aka bowser jr's fiery flotilla as i may guess i think i'm wrong with this oh i'm actually right yeah the comet star of bowser jr's fiery flotilla so we got those two comet stars and then we're pretty much going to do start off world four with to actually start off with the bonus galaxy of world four with that hungry luma next episode as well so we're gonna be doing a whole lot of crack next episode. It's crazy. Whole lot different crack in this episode. So if you like this awesome episode, as I think it was quite well, except for me, films, well, numerous times counting my fair recordings on that Castle Galaxy of World Three, as if because it's the Castle Galaxy of World Three. I mean Bowser Junior's hardcore and that guy with the use of Yoshi and with a capture card being a pain. But other than that, subscribe to my channel, big little button, like this video, subscribe. And watch my other videos and if you're satisfied like those videos as well i'm ultimate clean and i'll see you guys later and once again yoshi's so happy if you pretty much take a look at him on your screen right there can i take a yoshi i mean look at him on a scene
looking all cool and sharp. Tell him, Yoshi! You're cool and sharp! Okay, fine. Okay. See you guys, Lynn.